Hi everyone and welcome. As the team grows, it can make sense to start enforcing more complex rules across the code base. These rules could be enforcing team-wide coding patterns, such as restricting forced values or enforcing architecture rules. In this video, I will be talking about another challenge. It is the code quality checks. So let's get started. The shorter the feedback cycle between detecting issues with your code, the more productive both engineers and the team will be. While getting feedback on your code at code review is great, would it not be even better to get instant feedback, even before you submit your code to code review? Productive teams put advanced code checking infrastructure in place early on, exactly to help with rapid feedback on easy to spot code quality issues. Linting and static analysis are two most common approaches and are often used together. Static analysis is the more generic phrase of automatic inspection of the code, looking for potential issues and errors. Mobile static analysis tools usually help to detect use cases that are more complex than what a simple lint rule could catch. Most static analysis tools are written for a language such as Swift, Kotlin, Objective-C, or Java, and detect common programming issues such as unused variables, empty catch blocks, possible null values, and other. On top of the linting tools, static analysis tools you could consider are SonarCube, and the Sonar Cloud, this advanced static analysis tool. For Swift, you can use Swift Lint and Swift Format. And for Kotlin, you can use Kitlint and Detect. This is a code smells and complexity reports. You need to decide which tools to use and add them to your build setup, both to local builds and the CI setup such as Bitrise. Once in place, you might need to keep the rule up to date and every now and then update the version of the tool to support new features you might need. For example, here in the Android workflow, you can add detect, stub, and in the iOS workflow, you can use Swift Lint. At the end, I hope that you enjoyed this video and see you in the next challenge. Bye bye.